The former Defence Force Chief has admitted providing inaccurate information to the Beehive about allegations of civilian deaths during an SAS-led raid in Afghanistan. Sir Jerry Mataparai was appearing at the Operation Burnham inquiry, which is investigating claims made in a book by Nikki Hager and John Stevenson that six civilians were killed and 15 wounded during a New Zealand-led raid in 2010. Hit and Run alleges that the military covered up what happened. Our defence reporter, Jonathan Mitchell, is covering the public hearings in Wellington. The inquiry is hearing this week from the Defence Force's former and current top brass. Today, it was noted an early briefing to the then Defence Minister Wayne Mapp in 2010 was at odds with other official statements. His briefing ruled out civilian deaths, but other statements suggested there may have been. The former Defence Chief, Sajiri Mataparai, admitted relevant material was not provided. Clearly they are wrong and clearly they are inconsistent. Now with hindsight, yes. Sajiri Mataparai, a former Governor-General, says the military would have looked into the matter of civilian deaths if there were serious accusations against New Zealand troops. The inclination was that if there was a a serious and genuinely categoric uh, accusation, allegation of NZDF involvement in committing a crime, Mm. then we would have sent an investigation team from New Zealand. Immediately after the release of Hit and Run in 2017, which detailed a raid led by the SAS in retaliation for the death of a New Zealand soldier, the Defence Force rushed to get out a public response. It incorrectly ruled out civilian deaths and didn't link a report from years earlier that had suggested civilian deaths were a possibility. The ISAF Incident Assessment Team report had sat in a Defence Force safe and was found after a Māori television documentary in 2014 by John Stevenson. Former Defence HQ Chief of Staff, retired Commodore Ross Smith says it was an oversight not to mention that report after hit and run. It was incorrect to reassert that the ISAF investigation concluded that the allegations of civilian casualties were unfounded. What I can say without hesitation is that although our statement was incorrect, it was not deliberate. Paul Radich QC, who's acting for the military, says there was no cover-up. Looking back with the benefit of hindsight, there were certainly things that might have been done differently, lessons to be learned. But those missteps do not, in my submission, relate to the actions of New Zealand troops on the ground who were held in extremely high regard. They do not comprise a cover-up. Nothing could be further from the truth. Paul Radich says the military has openly acknowledged the possibility of civilian casualties. The inquiry will hear from 12 Defence Force witnesses, including other former Chiefs of Defence, Rhys Jones and Tim Keating, along with current Chief Air Marshal Kevin Short. Most of the Operation Burnham inquiry is being held behind closed doors. It's being led by Sir Terence Arnold and Sir Geoffrey Palmer, and they'll report back to the Attorney-General by the end of December. In Wellington for Checkpoint, Court Jonathan Mitchell, 10A.